Oh, good. There's a spoiler for Picard, like just as one of the front page posts from Star Trek GIFs. So mm. don't check that subreddit. <laughs> nope, I unsubbed from all the Star Trek related things. Yeah. Because, uh, well. <laughs> yeah, because of that. And also, you know. Well, the main subreddit just pisses me off anymore, so. Yeah. yeah I lasted two days on the bicycling subreddit before I unsubscribed. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, yeah. We, what we was could... the one I had subbed from the other day was uh, the Magic the Gathering one. Yep. Yeah, I don't I don't follow the main one, but I follow the Circle Jerk one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, if you're not familiar with Reddit, that doesn't mean what you think it means. Uh... Well, I mean, most of the time. <laughs> you, you say that, except that one time. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I I need something uplifting, guys. Uh, we should watch some Picard. Yeah, yeah. Let's um. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. sync. <laughs> sync. All right. Oh, we'll oh, damn Forty-five. Forty-five. Uh, uh, what's new in Chrome? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! Everything was against pro- me. What uh, profile do you want to use? <laughs> Now, now, f- get <laughs> skipped. <laughs> God damn it, motherfucker! I was off. ready, and then the so, fucking so, thing so, 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 froze, and then it fucking. God damn it! Jesus. I don't think I'll ever regain control. Devil look me in the eye, and I'll look the other way. What else could I do? I just stood at the doorway, and you. I'd rather be drunk with. Hey, Internet! Highway 47. Prematurely, just... No, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool, I'm Shaggy B. <laughs> With me is Draco Funk. I, I am. That's least, right. At least in part. In part. And also in part is Scrodrick. Brought to you by Carl's Jr., Fuck That's you. right. <laughs> That's right. We're watching Star Trek Picard season two, episode four. Um, the title of which I have not figured out. But Draco well, Funk's I mean, gonna tell us that. Watch Unless her. it's a spoiler. <laughs> oh, true. Good point. Watcher. 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 Yeah, Watcher. we were talking about that before. Okay. Watcher. Watcher. I don't know. Some shows are really bad about having a spoiler for the episode as the title for the episode. I know. I hate that. Like, and it's it's not as though you know, and it's like it's like modern shows, you know, that like were released as streaming or on discs or something. So it's not like you know, it's not like they don't expect you to be like you know, oh, episode twelve, the one where you know, well, fucking yeah, wasn't the one episode of the Book of Boba Fett the Return of the Mandalorian? It was, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's like. like <laughs> Like thanks, we could have watched the first like fifteen seconds of the episode and figured that out, you know. <laughs> right. Oh God, I hate that. Well, anyway, uh, we don't know what the hell's going on in this episode, but we do know some more stuff about it, which Draco Fung's going to tell us. Aired March twenty fourth, two thousand twenty two, has an IMDb rating of six point five. Okay. Oh wow, that's that's a sharp drop. So so we're going down. We're going down. Huh. Well. That's okay. Is that an indicator that this is going to be more like classic Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... They're losing the modern audience, but... Yeah, that, that could be. They're, they're losing the type of people who make IMDb ratings, I guess. You know, it's possible that there was some... I, I don't know this. Like, I know like another show that I've been watching. Um, I don't know if Strad- Strodrick might have watched it, but it's been getting like review bombed because it, it angered some people. And instead of like, oh. yeah. you know, there's been a couple things like that. And, you know, if, if it's being review bombed for like some of the reasons, I, I take that as actually a, a good sign. Yeah. Yeah, Star Trek should be socially progressive and, and you know, things like that. So, um, yeah. Okay, well, we'll find out um, pretty soon as we get our Paramount Plus ready through the process that Scrodrick will describe. Just 
can open it and get the beginning and we'll count you down. You'll you'll understand. All right, so let's do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see no reason to delay further. So here we go. This is Star Trek Picard, Season 2, Episode 4, Watchers, or just Watcher? Just Watcher. Just Watcher. All right, and we'll start it together in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! ZBS. That was the wrong... <laughs> It's absolutely wrong, but we've done it every episode, and I still think it's funny. <laughs> you know, oh, no. Well, she... That didn't happen in the last episode. That happened in the first episode, right there. That part. They just got to remind you. Oh. Because it'll probably have some some meaning in this episode. Whee! And it's like they never mention that part on all the slingshots where that always happens, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit, we forgot about the thing that always causes problems. I gotta say, Rafi is doing the best panic out of anybody. <laughs> Something about that fall just doesn't look right. <laughs> Oh, they, they cut the file name out because it was stupid. Okay, cool. <laughs> and now the conclusion. And now the cold open after the. Yeah, we did. By the way, we we didn't skip like the whole recap. Yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you probably shouldn't have either. <laughs> She always looks cold. Hey, phone in 2024? In Los Angeles? <laughs> it's still in a building, so... Hmm. Well, yep. Star Trek Uplifting Future. I mean, in the context of the Sanctuary District, it kind of makes sense that ice is in there fing things up. So. Oh, yeah. You just now thought of that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've been there for like half a day. God damn it.
That's actually some pretty cool backstory. Yeah, and they went to England. So. That explains his accent. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Uh oh. Oh no, a flash forward back. <laughs> 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 He's got her back before backhead in time. He went back to the future back. I mean, maybe time travel is f***ing with his, you know, android golem brain. This is positronic matrix. Yeah. Shouldn't he have interfaced with the Borg Queen? Well, I mean, since they intentionally made him frail, who knows? <laughs> Not really. Maybe they gave him, like, robo aromatic syndrome? Is that the same song that was playing in the cafe in the next gen episode? We'll always have Paris. No, I am not that much of a nerd. Yes, I am. Have you seen Casablanca? Yes, <laughs> I have. <laughs> since since then, I have watched it. <laughs> really? Yeah. We should good. watch it together. We should. We should. I've never seen it. It's it's a pretty good movie, actually. Yeah, we should totally watch it. My mother used to do calculus for me. <laughs> <laughs> A rifle. Ah, oh, 2015, they're too late. <laughs> oh, man. Now that there's a dead... <laughs> oh. That's no, the theme song. Oh, well, don't skip it. Scrodrick. Yeah. Yeah. Scrodrick. Uh He's busy not skipping it. Broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I. You know, this isn't my favorite theme song, and it's not my favorite intro. I mean, it that would... Borg ship isn't my favorite because it was always simple shapes before. Mm hmm. This is a very like it's 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 a good, you know, militaristic counterpart to the old Picard theme. 
in that sense, which is why I originally thought this would be a mirror universe series. Um, but they've established by saying directly, this isn't a mirror universe, that it's not the mirror universe. Um, so I, I appreciate it for what it is, but aesthetically, it's not my favorite either. But I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of the first season Picard theme. Like, it was okay. Yeah. Honestly, it's it's just like, this is the same thing. Like, I don't like the Discovery opening credit yeah. either. And this reminds me a lot of that. I, I want a tonal march. I want a 6-8 march that's tonal. Like, that's what I want. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I just, that's what I want. I know it's stereotypical, but it's what I want. Directed by Leah Thompson. Why do I recognize that? I think a number of these have been. Oh, I really? Know. Really? Uh huh. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. So in 35 years, no, 40 years, okay, 38 years, that guy moved from San Francisco to L.A. and changed nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it was a little bit funny. It was it was funny. I I appreciate it. If it had been exactly the same, I would be upset. <laughs> and the fact that they used the same song, yeah. Or if they re-recorded it, that would. I don't. Be... Actually, I don't think I don't think they did. I hope not. Make a speech, Picard. Hopefully he doesn't hit any scaffolding. Yeah, really. <laughs> There'd be android parts everywhere. You shouldn't... You shouldn't leave them alone. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> no, all the scalpers have those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Would you believe it's where Guinan's bar was? Because that's where it is. No fucking way. <laughs> mm hmm. To walk in, it's like totally different. Mm hmm. Guinan, why are you old this time? <laughs> hey, remember me from 150 years ago when I was with Mark Twain? <laughs> 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 What if it's not? Doesn't really look open.
What if it's somebody else? I think the answer is behind those neon eyes on that uh, thing on the wall. Yes, you do. You, you met him 150 years ago. <laughs> Commercial break. <laughs> Back. We're back. We. Yeah, at least he kept him from, you know. Yeah.
the same as in San Francisco. <laughs> Adopting, he's taking the dog. Uh, that inner ear problem she's having. Mm. Yeah, really. You're way more badass than the other women I'm with. Commercial break. <laughs> We're back. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I mean, she's got some delts, you know? No. Yeah, they don't have video cameras or anything on their parking lot. Yeah, really. Or, you know, cameras inside their cruisers or facial recognition tracking everybody, which I'm sure we already have. And the LAPD definitely already has. I mean, they're not going to be in there. True.
or ticket. He was on Voyager with Tom yeah, Paris. Exactly. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he was like seven. Race me, you know. <laughs> Well, that no, honestly, this is how cops drive. So, I mean, <laughs> like, this is exactly what I'd expect out of an LAPD cruiser. <laughs> Whoops. They would have got some rental scooters. It would have been twenty minutes, you know, <laughs> yeah, really, or an e-bike. <laughs> oh no yep it's a bad idea it's a bad idea also that was a bad idea This is only like the third or fourth time this has happened. Yeah, so really. It was the dog. It's the dog. I kind of want it to be the dog, actually. Hey, that's an old Geo Metro. Cool. And here I was thinking her shotgun was in the bottom of that tub. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> very handy yeah really oh, oops. don't worry about it
the injured fingers on your side of the cage. That's yeah, all right. I was thinking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking dare on his part. <laughs> uh, go ahead, oh, grab yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're in a cop car. Red doesn't mean stop. <laughs> Again, you're in a cop car. <laughs> Literally today, I read a headline about some cops who tried to beat a yellow light and ran over a homeless guy and drug him for a block under their cruiser. So that's just what cops f***ing do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally read that in the news today. I saw the, uh, what was it, motorcyclist or a bicyclist that had a helmet cam that caught a cop hitting them, texting and mm -hmm. driving. Yeah. Otherwise they would have been f***ed, so it's like, hmm, I need to look up helmet cams, I guess. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I can give you an old GoPro. <laughs> That's a place to start and get a helmet mount for it. No. No. Uh. Or he's from the Borg Queen. That would be weird. <laughs> yeah, really. Ah, oh, species eight four six smelled really horrible. We had to purge <laughs> <Yeah>. them. <laughs> <laughs> We lost I wonder how the board thousand drones in the initial encounter. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how the Borg record time. You suppose they use like Unix time codes? Hmm. Oh, cool! We get to see a race between an Explorer police interceptor and a Charger police version. Of course, there's big variations in the Charger police cruisers. Like some of them are V6s. <laughs> True. Of course, I don't know what's in the police interceptor explorers oh. these days. Oh, God, I thought they were going to learn about SUVs rolling. Because, <laughs> 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 you know, if Tom Paris is the one that taught her how to drive, it was in a muscle car. You know? <laughs> True.
<laughs> and now's when you just start firing into the cab, your cops. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Man, they're so out of character. Not really. <laughs> but I have her voice now. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, phaser it. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Didn't I see you like 150 years ago? Yes. I think they forgot about that episode. <laughs> Get in. Yeah, that's my only explanation is they forgot about that episode. She also doesn't have a face. <laughs> Bronco has a roll cage. Going to be another Borg queen. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Janeway. Good thing they aren't real. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh. Give you that. I mean, old men shouldn't be taking the hands of strange little girls in the park. <laughs> yeah, it's all right.
That was weird. Oh, hey. How's it going? Is it going to be Jordy? That's not the most, you know. Mm. Huh. That's cool. The end. Oh. Oh. He really is unwell. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to... I don't want to see the previews for the next Yeah, episode. me either. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't rate that a 6.5. I, I wouldn't either. I mean... <laughs> you, 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 can't, you can't... You can't... It's hard to rate this on its own, you know, because it's the middle of a story. Oh, uh, yeah, we're in the low sevens, I think. I'm It's it's kind of bordering on like intricacy for the sake of intricacy at this point. It kind of feels like to me. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think we're there yet, but like if we don't get some shit figured out in the next episode, it's just going to get tedious, you know? Yeah. So, mm, seven and a quarter is kind of where I'm at. Like, I'm still fascinated. I'm still interested, but it's like, okay, we need to we need to get a little bit of somewhere. Oh, okay, we're a lot farther than they got the first season by this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yes and no, right? Like, because we're we're I don't know. It, it 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 feels like this is a story that should be moving a little faster, you know. And like, I'm not sure that the I don't know. I don't feel like the last season. The like, last like, season felt like six episodes. The first five episodes, first five episodes was like one episode. This feels at least like different episodes. They're moving the story along. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I just kind of feel like I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more starved for information than I, 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 I think I should. But I'm not I'm not bothered yet, but I'm like 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 I need a little bit of a of a of a shift next episode. I need a little bit of a payoff or else it's gonna get like, okay, come on, you know. Yeah. That's just we're just on that borderline. We're not past it yet. But yeah. No, seven think? and a quarter. What do you think, Scroderick? Seven and a half. I mean I still kinda think that uh they're losing the attention of the where are all the lasers people so yeah and that's fine yeah the, the more we can get those people to shut up the better <laughs> the people who liked the general grievous fight in uh revenge of the sith you know <laughs> oh he moved the lightsaber really fast you know those people
Not that General Grievous wasn't a cool character, but like, you know, I as mean, far as storytelling. I kind of enjoyed that because you could see Ewan McGregor is just like, fuck it, I'm just going to ham it up for this. So yeah. <laughs> that's why I enjoyed that one. <laughs> yeah. But, but you I, didn't you didn't enjoy it for its nuanced storytelling and, you know. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I I enjoy the fact that like they kept having to reshoot scenes because you and McGregor kept like making lightsaber scenes or no- noises with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well anyway, um when we watch Star Wars we'll talk all about that, but for now, uh I I Picard. I mean, I I think they've done a lot better this season. Yeah, I do too. They there there's still some pitfalls and I think only a lot of that is just shows now have to kind of follow a little bit of like you know yeah it has to change and if it didn't change a little bit it still wouldn't be star trek because star trek is managing to do what star trek does but in a different kind of audience and i think they're doing that and they're doing it better than they did last season i agree yeah yeah i'm overall i'm still very happy with this um i'm I want to watch more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not. I'm not going. Oh man! I'm like at no point am I hitting that. I'm just. I'm just kind of like, okay, yeah. Next step is kind of where I'm at. So, all right. Well, join us next week, and hopefully, we get a next step. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. I am about to piss myself. Be right back. <laughs>